In this video we share Saint Gemma Golgani and her guardian angel and her holy stigmata. Gemma Golgani, also known as the Flower of Luca, was an Italian mystic often referred to as the Daughter of Passion, for her intense replication of the Passion of Christ. She was born on March 12, 1878, in a small Italian town near Lucca. On June 8, 1899, Gemma had an internal warning that some unusual grace was to be granted to her. She felt pain and blood coming from her hands, feet and heart. These were the marks of the stigmata. Each Thursday evening, Gemma would fall into rapture and the marks would appear. Such marks, called the stigmata in the language of the Catholic Church, refers to the appearance of the wounds of the crucified Jesus Christ appearing on the bodies of some men and women whose lives are so conformed to his that they reflect those wounds of redemptive love for others. The stigmata remained until Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. When the bleeding would stop, the wounds would close, and only white marks would remain in place of the deep gashes. Gemma's stigmata would continue to appear until her confessor, Rev. Germanus Ruopolo, advised her to pray for their disappearance due to her declining health. Through her prayers, the phenomenon ceased, but the white marks remained on her skin until her death. Saint Gemma Golgani had the constant company of her guardian angel, with whom she maintained a family relationship. She saw him, they prayed together, and he even let her touch him. In short, Saint Gemma considered her guardian angel as an ever-present friend of hers. He lent her all kinds of help, even bringing messages to her confessor in Rome. This priest, Don Hermano di San Stanislao, of the Passionist Order, founded by Saint Paul of the Cross, left the narration of Saint Gemma's relationship with her heavenly guardian, frequently when I asked her if the guardian angel always remained at her place at his side, Gemma turned towards him completely at ease and immediately fell into an ecstasy of admiration for the entire time she stared at him. She saw him all day. Before falling asleep she asked him to keep watch at the bedside of her bed and to make a sign of the cross on her forehead. When she woke up in the morning, she had the immense joy of seeing him beside her, as she herself told her confessor, this morning, when I woke up, he was there next to me. When she went to confession and needed help, her angel immediately helped her, as she recounts, he reminds me of ideas, he even tells me a few words, so that I don't feel it difficult to write. Furthermore, her guardian angel was a sublime teacher of the spiritual life, and he taught her how to proceed rightly. Remember, my daughter, that the soul that loves Jesus speaks little and abnegates a lot. I order you, on the part of Jesus, never to give your opinion if it is not asked of you, and never to defend your opinion, but to give in immediately. And she added again, when you commit some fault, say it immediately without waiting for them to ask you. Finally, don't forget to protect your eyes, because the mortified eyes will see the beauties of heaven. Although she was not a religious, and led a common life, Saint Gemma Golgani nevertheless desired to consecrate herself in the most perfect way to the service of our Lord Jesus Christ. However, as can sometimes happen, the simple desire for holiness is not enough, the wise instruction of those who guide us is needed, applied with firmness. And so it happened in Santa Gemma. Her very sweet and heavenly companion, who was under her gaze at all times, did not put aside severity when, due to any slip, his protégé stopped following the paths of perfection. When, for example, she decided to put on some gold jewels with some satisfaction, to visit a relative from whom she had received them as a gift, she heard a salutary warning from her angel, upon returning home, who looked at her with severity, remember that the precious necklaces, for embellishing the bride of a crucified king, can only be his thorns and his cross. Were it the occasion in which Saint Gemma deviated from holiness, an angelic censure was immediately felt, aren't you ashamed of sinning in my presence? In addition to being a guardian, it is clear that the guardian angel carries out the excellent task of a teacher of perfection and a model of holiness. In January of 1903, Gemma was diagnosed with tuberculosis. At the start of Holy Week in 1903, Gemma began suffering greatly. She died at age 25 on Holy Saturday, April 11th. The parish priest in her company said, she died with a smile which remained upon her lips, 
so that I could not convince myself that she was really dead. Saint Gemma Golgani was beatified on May 14, 1933 by Pope Pius XI and canonized on May 2, 1940, only 37 years after her death, by Pope Pius XII. She is the patron saint against temptations, against the death of parents, against tuberculosis, of students and of pharmacists. Her feast day is celebrated on April 11. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.